And one of the big things that we love to talk about also is when it comes down to the to these shows, the posing. I mean, a lot of people don't talk about it, but posing can be the hardest thing for a lot of competitors to sort of master yeah. and get down harder than your diet, harder than your training. Yeah. What was that experience like for you? Was it something that you picked up really, really quick? Or is it something that, I mean, you're still working on? Well, um, not to boast or anything, but it, it does come kind of naturally because I am I think that I have introvert tendencies, but it, whenever I am on stage for some reason or when I'm in front of a camera or in front of a group, all of a sudden I'm just like, look at me, look what I can do. And I'm like, I can't believe it. When I look back, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did all that. You know, And I'm all wink and flirting with the judges. So it's fun for me to perform. And maybe I should have been an actress. But <laughs> um, posing is tough because there's an element of sexiness to it. You have to sell yourself and flirt with the crowd. You know, you there's, you know, you're sexy. Yeah. You're... You have to be so confident and ooze this just you want me, baby, and mm. and you know that you like what you see. Mm. You're selling yourself. And I have so many beautiful friends that have trouble for some reason. I guess when all eyes are on you, they kind of get a little shy. And for me, it's the opposite. But whenever and I, whenever I was in Pittsburgh, they said that I appeared very shy and like a wallflower on stage. And I will tell you, I felt very intimidated. I, I'm i very honest and real. And I can tell when I'm standing two inches away from my competitors that I am so much smaller than they are. I, I was just amazed at how big these women were that I was standing right next to. I have many years to go still. And so I guess I internalized that and they could see that and feel that. I certainly wasn't showing my teeth on stage. All my pictures are of me just <laughs> like smiling. And that right there is a perfect example, you know. And so you have to be confident and you also just you have to be like like the way I was in Phoenix. I just was like, let's have fun, ladies. Let's yeah. go out there and, and just shake our butts and I tell people it's the closest thing I can get to being a stripper. <laughs> I'm in this tiny, teeny little bikini, and I'm literally just like grooving and showing people my stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's just odd. It's bizarre. Yeah. So it's really just the moment. And when you're on stage, no matter how much you practice at home, it's never the same. Yeah. It, it, once you're in front of those judges, it's like, whoa. Like a whole, you're in a different universe. So it's like, yeah, practice as much as you can at home, get a post coach. But the more times you compete, the better you'll get at it. So I do as many shows as you can because yeah. each show you're going to be like, okay, yeah, I got this. Like I, I remember I'm not going to do the deer in the headlights type thing. You're just, you'll get better every time. What is your favorite pose to do and least favorite pose to do? Um, I'll post for you now. Right. Uh, let's see. Favorite pose probably is one that it's um uh, like uh I don't know what they call it side chest for oh, females. Right. Yep. Well, and the reason why I like it is because I can do my best at it. Like you always want to hide your weaknesses. If you're good at hiding your weaknesses, then you're gonna get better points, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So my least favorite pose probably would be front biceps because when I truly flex, this is going to sound crazy, but my breast implants, they're under the muscle. Wow. And really, I mean, it is what it is. That's a fact that when, when they're under the muscle, like I'm not ashamed to admit that I had, mm -hmm. I have big boobs, mm -hmm. but when they're under the muscle and you squeeze mm -hmm. to, to really pop your lats mm -hmm. in a front double by. I found that my suit wasn't holding them in well enough, which is just, it was a disaster. Mm -hmm. Well, my implants were falling out of my suit. They were coming out. So I'm going to get those done for my next show and th that'll be better. But it's like little things like your weaknesses, you want to hide them. So just like when you know that you don't look your best, it's going to come across when you pose. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah. but I like them all. Yeah. I like them all. There's I not gonna, one that I like more than the other. I was going to say that's the first person that's ever said front double bicep is the, is the one thing that they, that they have the most difficulty with. Usually it's like abs yeah. because a lot of people that's like, you have to get like everything down perfectly. It's like a like weird, that. that, that, yeah, that yeah. is an awkward one. That's yeah. kind of one where I just said, who cares? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, but think about it. That's, um, that's like a error that can be fixed mm. right implants will get changed yep. all you female bodybuilders that are listening to this podcast over the muscle because when you i mean you can tell you can see the implant if it's under the muscle and it looks i mean it's not negative or positive like i love boobs i think they're beautiful but you can see them more they look less natural and um it just doesn't look as good and let's face it this is an aesthetic sport Mm -hmm. i mean we're into our looks Mm -hmm. so it's like i can say that you know that's how we're judged so if you want to have good looking boobs do it over the muscle yeah so, and, uh, and they'll be better. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then my front buy is going to be like popping. Oh really? yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, it's probably be one of her best. It's probably one of her best ones. I mean, look oh. at that people. Jesus. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, 